to uh, talk into Mumble when you are talking to the stream as well. Otherwise, I will get confused. Yeah, yeah, they can hear me. I got X split type thingy. Word. Oh, I just mean don't Hello. talk to the stream without talking to me. Oh, hello, everyone, and it looks like we are back again. Uh, I got Sud to be the camera, and he is actually going to co-cast with us. Hello. And, yeah, you guys need to refresh your stream, maybe. I don't know, it might come on automatically. But we are still waiting for teams to get into servers, so you have not missed any of the action. At least up to this point. And yes, it looks like we have everybody back again. I'm seeing a bunch of people watching the stream. So yeah, just to refresh, because this is probably not going to go, the first part's not going to go on to VOD for YouTube. We are going to be seeing Virtuoso versus Bots Off the System, which is an American team Virtuoso against the, actually, they're a German team entirely, it looks like, Bots Off the System. And this will be a scavenge match. Um, the maps we'll be seeing played today are Rooftop, Atrium, and Sugar Mill. Uh, I don't know if we've actually seen Atrium played yet in a scavenge match that we've casted. Uh, Sud, do you remember any? I'm getting a feeling of no, however I have seen lots of them. <laughs> yeah, it's certainly one of the more popular maps uh, to be played, and it looks like we might actually be in server now. We might have a server to go to, so we will join that real quick. Man, I set up my casting HUD and everything. <laughs> totally Let's ready see. to go, and then this happens to you. Indeed, I'm actually going to go turn off my casting HUD. I, just, I even switched my Steam language to English in preparation for this. Like, that takes dedication. I don't switch my Steam language to English just for, just for anyone. Somewhere I can just feel battle facepalming and going, What a fucking weeaboo. <laughs> Hey, at least my Steam name's not half Japanese all the time like this. I got this weird bug with the Steam uh, community on my netbook where it's always in Japanese and I can't stop it. That's interesting. I should it's sell always my netbook in Japanese. to you. It's like a collector's edition. Oh for man, you. I totally would. The Sud netbook. And it looks like they're still having an issue getting that person into the game. Uh, whoever is blocked, they could try to kill the lobby reservation, and it probably is killed at this point. Uh, shout out from Dildo that you're a faggot. I think that's absolutely rude. How I don't know rude. why you would say that. Oh, cause sexy apparently. Well, okay, I guess that's... I guess that's okay? I'm not really sure. I guess, you but, know, if you think about it logically, Dildos are kind of sexy. That's why people use them. Indeed. Um, we do see for Team Virtuoso, and I kind of like their new tag, none of that V-E-U stuff that they had before. It's, uh, or actually maybe it's just looking differently because I'm playing in the English right now. But uh, yeah, we have Dildo, Jane, and Moonshine. Uh, and for Team Bots off the system, we have Cell, Blaubar, and Dana. As we expected. I just got like three ads in a row. But yeah, we are still trying to get these players in. Uh, maybe I even have them blocked. I wouldn't know. I always have people blocked. Just kidding. I actually do have a pretty sizable block list at this point though. And that's no lie. Getting them people that are rushing ahead not playing the game, are you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, gotta get rid of those rushers and, and griefers. Just don't want to play with any of them. And those wombo combo were guys. <laughs> Absolutely. I noticed some of the survivors were uh, doing skeet shooting with their cans, <laughs> sending them off of the roof. It's pretty entertaining. And it looks like they actually. Oh, Deadly Assassin has joined, and no one has joined. So it looks like players are in the server, and we will be doing the restart, and this game is going to go live. I just can't wait. I'm very excited. This Especially for should... Rooftop. <laughs> rooftop is pretty... It's honestly more entertaining. I feel like it's more entertaining to watch than it is to play. But uh, it's a pretty good map. Rooftop is just such a wild card. Like all the other ones you're assuming they're going to get all the cans in. It's just a matter of how quickly 
But with Rooftop, anything happens. Yeah, that is absolutely the case. You just see... You could see a death. You could see teams get, like, six-minute times without any deaths. Uh, there's all sorts of things. I absolutely love seeing a, a good, like, pull to a ledge and then a charge off, or, like, a pull to a railing, I think you'd call that. Or those times when the survivor just, like, totally goes Matrix mode and kills a charger just as he's taking some of the ledge <laughs> and they hang instead of falling. That's when you need that, like, uh, server slow-mo plug-in. So it goes slow-mo while the charge is charging, and you can just dodge out of the way and get the level with your axe and move out of there. And it looks like Team Virtuoso is going to be taking Survivor first. We are seeing a, looks like two auto shotgun, two AK-47 setup. And they will probably go, be going live pretty quick. There is a 3-1 setup for the infected right now, I believe. No, this is actually 2-2 two -two with Charger and Jockey. Now, that's one thing I haven't seen a lot of, is uh, jockeys setting people up for the charge off the roof. It's usually always smokers. Indeed. Well, you know, it's it's just a lot. You can always get that quick cap with the smoker, and it's very hard to self-clear. Um, we did at least once see a jockey to, like, a railing, and then a charge off in a game a, a while ago, and that was definitely interesting. It looks like finally a boomer coming in for a sack right here. Just gonna pop some cans around, but that's gonna slow down Zoe's can pouring, or she'll actually just um, go ahead and use the pipe bomb right there. Survivor's not moving incredibly quickly. They've still got a lot of upper ground cans to get, but it looks like Bill and Lewis are going to be going for some low ground cans right here. Here comes the jockey for the first setup. He gets M2'd, and it's gonna be Bill versus Auto Shotgun down here. Oh, Bill versus Jockey as well. They should really just finish killing that charger. And there he does go down, but a nice burn by Bots Denna on the other side of the map. Bill probably uh, feeling pretty lucky to be alive there. He had to deal with both a jockey and a charger all by himself. Indeed. Of course, the charger was... Uh, I think they were both chipped a little bit. But uh, he did a nice job with the charger, at least. We did see that burn, and there was actually a pounce near the generator for a little bit, slowing things down. But meanwhile, the survivors have actually taken a nice path. They got far two. They got hard three all at once. And they actually just got Alley as well. Wow, incredible speed coming out from Team Virtuoso. Um, they just need to protect these cans, and I believe Spitter is down right now. Oh, Moonshine having to juke a smoker right here, making a good choice to just come back up to high ground. And they need to deal with that Boomer who's sitting on top of cans, but a nice pull onto Lewis right there, and the Charger is coming! This should be a Death Charge! And it certainly is Moonshine taken off the side of the map, and there's still a lot of SI up right now. Oh boy, and I get spectate bugged onto uh, that player. Well, that boomer is still being as unpopular as the fat kid at the birthday party that he's not invited to because the mom invited <laughs> him. Okay. Uh, we did see that jockey attempt on low ground and a pole almost getting the two cap right there, but they do get it cleared. Um, there's still quite a few cans to get in. The pores have not been going in all that quickly. Um, but it looks like Bill is going to take over while Zoe's boomed right there. This will put them up to 20 canes as they get these two in, and they just have to get the long one that they missed. Um, so it was looking like it was going to be a pretty good time for Virtuoso, but I think there's been a good amount of slowdown because of uh, the slowness of getting those cans poured in. And of course the Death Charge doesn't help too much. Here comes a delay hit right here, looking for Death Charge actually landing in Ooh, a free naked. Death Charge onto Deadly Assassin, but it shouldn't matter too much. They just need to take out that smoker, there's going to be a jockey for last second delay right here. But if they get these cans in, they'll have a 5.30ish time it's looking like. They really need to deal with that jockey quickly. And the jockey does land, but they should be able to... can they find the can? There it is. Oh, and five twenty six. pulling their job there. Just sort of standing around looking at the guy pouring it. Yeah. But uh, they did manage to get it in without too much of delay. That could have been closer to a six minute time if they had uh, been able to get those last few cans in a bit more efficiently. But uh, a 5.26 time is nothing to shake a stick at either. And we'll be looking to Virtuoso to get some sort of death charge or something that to slow down bot. Do you think if you should have shook a stick at a boomer, he'd explode? I, I don't know about that <laughs> for sure. Maybe if you poked him with a stack. I think he'd boom pretty quickly if you poked him with just about anything. Nice artillery spit being deployed right there, and uh, a lot of cans were in it, but they made quick work to get him out of there. 
cans went back so, into the spit, and they knew exactly the moment that it would have burned, and it avoided it. Absolutely. I was casting with Battle yesterday, and there would be cans and spit uh, at the end of a spit like that, and he would just freak out and think, oh my gosh, they're going to burn, but no. He needs almost three seconds. Nice pull attempt right there, but uh, Zoe got out of the way so quickly. She needs to get these canes out of spit, though. Very nice juggling getting those canes out of spit super quickly. And there's a jockey landing up top, but the charger is down. Oh, wow. I actually missed a death charge. I hope Sud didn't miss that for you as well, because that would be a little bit embarrassing for us. But, uh, yeah, nice death charge. And the spitter is up top looking for free burns onto two cans. Wow, this does not look good for bots off the system right now. That's two can burns. They only have six cans in, and they're going to have to work hard to make up lost time right here. There is a boomer up in spawn, so only a two, well, just two non-cappers at this point for Team Bot, for Team Virtuoso, but uh, they are getting that smoker. There is a lot of separation they can play on right now. And there comes the pole, but it should be covered pretty well, even if Bill is boomed. Oh my gosh, but that boomer getting a nice intercept. Knocking a can to the other side of uh, that area, and that pole has still not been cleared. Finally does get cleared by Bill there. And the Charger is looking for a charge but he's not going to find a spawn. He might be able to hit on Bill, who is still low ground right there. But it looks like they're going to wait and uh, just get their spawn synced up once again. They still have to get hard three, and they've got some burned cans. Almost all of the helipad side cans have just respawned. So um, this is going to be pretty difficult for bots on the, off the system. Here comes a separation jockey attempt, but no, Bill is going to get into line of sight very quickly. There was a one boom onto Zoe on the other side of the map. Chargers. And jockey finally taken down right there. All they have is a charger and spitter, and it would probably be best for them to go for some sort of a burn play here. Um, but it's going to be up to that charger to find a spawn, and they're going to have to be very decisive about which canes they do go for a burn on if they choose to do so. Now it looks like Survivor is going for low ground, hard 3 right now, that Charger should really set up on Zoe right there, he can definitely get that charge. They're going to deploy the spit right there, oh, Charger just nice. about to lose his spawn, and he's going for that charge on Zoe, he does get it! That is the second death charge of the round for Team Virtuoso, and things are looking absolutely horrible for bots off the system at this point. And they're point. throwing themselves off at this point. Indeed. Yeah, there's not much left after you lose so many players, they definitely weren't going to win on time there either. Um, I did see that question mark said there was a issue with stream qual audio quality maybe, but I don't know. Oh, it must be the exploit That's audio bug. I'll fix it. One sec. I think he said it was laggy. I don't really know exactly what that means, but, uh, doesn't really matter too much. I don't see anybody in the stream chat complaining about it. It should be fixed now. There's, there's this bug with exploit where there's audio flutter. Uh, it sounds like you're in a helicopter. You have to fix oh, it by reading the audio and unmuting it. Maybe it's just the escape helicopter coming in. We did see the quick boom right there, but it did not knock any cans around. And it looks like they're going to cover Lewis pretty well, who is on a shot getting those cans in very quickly. So bots off the system definitely choosing to speed things up for this round, getting those high ground cans very quickly. And we do not see a charger up for uh, Team Virtuoso right now, so honestly they should probably just think about losing some of these SI. They did just lose the smoker right there, not really sure what the smoker was going for. Um, but now it's a jockey and hunter up. And it looks like bots off the system going for close low ground cans. Which might not be a bad decision, definitely a little safer uh, first low ground can choice. And jockey has just gone on to try to get some delays on those generator pours. But he didn't really get very much at all and now all Virtuoso has is a hunter, charger, and spitter. And honestly, that's going to be pretty hard to get any sort of a death charge set up on. But here comes the hunter pouncing around, getting taken down, and uh, honestly, I have to say, I'm not really sure what Virtuoso is going for at this point. Have you ever seen an instance where a pipe bomb throws a bunch of gas cans off of the edge? Mm, not very often. Whoa, actually a free death charge going in right there. I almost missed that entirely. But Dana has been taken down by a free death charge from, I believe, Moonshine. That so that good. was a very nice move. We did see a ledge jockey onto Alley right here, and so there's only two standing survivors at this point. Smoker looking to get some sort of a delay on this. He does go for a nice separation pull, but no one is going to have to take some time to get those saved. Now, as you were mentioning about pipe bombs, I have, 
I have myself a lot of times tried to use a pipe bomb to uh, help move some cans quicker. But uh, honestly, I think most teams really want to save their pipe bombs to deal with Horde. We did see a quick spitter sack right there onto Bot's Cell's stack of three can. And it looks like Bot's, for the most part, has recovered from uh, that low ground hit. But there's a tri cap up in play right now. Hunter bouncing around. They might be thinking about just going for this tri cap at some point. Um, if they can get a boomer, that would be actually a really good opportunity for them to get a multi cap. Oh, and the SI did commit for this, but Hunter and Jockey both getting dead stopped by Francis and Zoe and taken down. And now that Charger is alone, probably chipped a little bit as well. Meanwhile, survivors are going to start taking a uh, hard three. And yeah, that Charger is just getting ripped to shreds by uh, the Scar from Francis. Now this Boomer is going to be doing some sort of a can bomb attempt, but uh, Bill doing a really nice job tossing those cans up to high ground very quickly. And the Boomer does get taken down, so oh, I believe wow. these we have are the rest a, of We have cans. a ledge hang there. Oh, I think he pipe bombed, stumbled himself off. Yeah, that's oh, exactly what happened. Spit attempt going in up top, and they just bring like three cans. No, four that cans, five cans. Going wow, on six. every single can is being burned. Oh, actually, one of them is not in... Oh, fire, the fuck? It's a pipe bomb! bomb! The pipe yes. bomb! <laughs> oh, wow, just as we were talking about uh, the dangers of pipe bombs right there, we see a lead hang from a pipe bomb, and we see a gas can getting burned because of one. Uh, you know, I have to say, bots off the system, if they had just gotten those, those were the last five cans from the map. And if they had... Uh, we did just see a death charge attempt that completely whipped. And meanwhile, Cell has somehow managed to ledge hang herself on top of an air conditioner unit. Everything that can go wrong is doing so. It is definitely. Bots off the system have to be sort of uh, punching themselves. I don't know what you even say to call that, but uh, very exasperated at this point. I, we just saw Bots no one. I'm not sure if he did that on purpose, but he just lit two gas cans. Oh, wow, they would have had a great time, I'd have to say, if they could have gotten those five cans in. But that giant multi-burn is absolutely deadly, and right now it's going to be very hard for bots to even get the 21 at this point. There goes a spit, might even burn that can, but no, Cell swoops in for the save. Very nice moves right there. Meanwhile, no one is keeping the block position up top. Nice dead stop onto that hunter, but uh, they've still got two hard three cans to get. And the two far helipad are there for the taking as well. Only 150 left on the clock. I'm gonna go up to 209. So time shouldn't really be an issue, but they have to really be able to shut down these next attacks. We do actually have a horde coming in, and the survivors are out of pipe bombs, so they're gonna try to employ that Molotov to help with it. Oh wow, but a can getting shoved into the fire right there! Just fumble after fumble coming out from bots off the system. This is not what you want to see. Oh my gosh, it's such an important time in their scavenge match, but they are going to keep going. They're determined to get 21. I mean, even if your time is not going to be very good, you want to get 21 so you have the chance to wipe uh, the other team that plays on Survivor. Somewhere Smokey the Bear is watching this and filing a police report. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, just so many can burns, uh, survivors not being very careful about their fire. And, you know, you really have to make sure you practice proper fire safety anytime there are flames about. And here comes another pipe bomb, gonna knock some cans around probably. And it does knock the can away a little bit, but it actually knocks it past where the spitter was going for. So, uh, a bit of more luck with that particular pipe bomb. And the last can is going in. Wow, only 2.16 on the clock, but uh, <laughs> what a round. Uh, definitely one of the more interesting uh, survivor side rounds. I'd have to say, just so many can burns everywhere. Uh, I'd, bots has to be shaking their head right now at uh, all of those incredible fumbles. The situation they've got on hand, a monkey could write the Dead Sea Scrolls, and they'd still have plenty of time to do that round. <laughs> Indeed, and it looks like a nice ledge jockey right off the bat managing to get that survivor up onto the rail and a death charge attempt, but can't get the right angle right there. Dildo going to not get death charge. Lots of multicaps happening. 
and a good amount of damage as well. I don't know what the spitter just spat on right there, but I'm sure it could have been useful. And spitter is taken down at this point. Um, there are a lot of SI down right now. Denna just about to get a spawn, so survivors might be able to get a few more low ground cans before they have to worry about spawns. Nice rocket boom going in there to delay Bill a little bit. He's going to toss his can up to high ground and probably take out that boomer pretty quick. Oh wow! Boomer actually knocks that can around but it gets stuck on that little ledge. And here comes the death charge attempt onto Bill. He is hoarded and the death charge does land but not for the death. It gets cleared super quickly. Nice work by the survivors but uh, yeah there are a lot of delays going out right now. But I have to say, uh, bots off the system needs a bit more than just a delay. They really need those death charges to land, and they need to land them quickly. Smoker thinking about going for the separation pull onto Dildo right here. He does get the pull, but there's no other capper to help him out with that, so it's probably going to be cleared pretty quickly by uh, Zoe right here. And here comes a rocket boom for even more delay, but... Once again, these delays just aren't what they need. Jackie going for that ledge cap on low, but Dildo does take it out. And it, we have 15 cans in at this point, but um, there's plenty of time on the clock. Survivors just have to get hard three and close two cans right here, it looks like. Yes, it does look that way. And Charger pre-spawning right here on top. Honestly, not a good decision. He's going to try to run out of there to avoid getting taken down by the survivors. If this smoker can actually get a pull onto Dildo, that could be a death shard. Uh, but they have to be very careful about how they use their cappers because one wrong move and the survivors can just rush the rest of the map here. We did see some cans on low ground get burned. I'm not exactly sure why that happened. Maybe just trying to bait out that charge. I believe that was Bill spray and praying and sort of errant shotgun pellet. Oh wow, and we did see a pull attempt right there, but it did get juked, and this charger isn't really going to have anything. He does get the death charge onto Dildo, but honestly at this point, wow, a boomer actually whiffing right there. And these are going to be the last three cans from the map, if the survivors can remember that they have to actually pick them up down there. And ironically, Dildo is now entering a large black void. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, but uh, last cans coming in right here, nice hand-to-hand -hand passes. Some finesse coming out from the survivor team and last second delays will be coming in here but they really need this burn. And the burn is not going to land. Both survivors grabbing those cans and getting out of it. There is a charger left in spawn but uh, honestly unless the survivors accidentally shoot a can he's not going to do anything. A little bit of a can fumbling right there on the generator. But they do get him in, and they get in with 447 times, so that's another round for Team Virtuoso. So, um, honestly, looking pretty one-sided from that particular round right there. But, um, yeah, I think that first survivor half is going to have to go down in history as the uh, most, survival, most survivor fumbles on a single scavenge round. And play the most fire as well. <laughs> Absolutely, it was just so much. And looking for that quick jockey once again onto Bill right there, but the jockey choosing to send himself off of the ledge instead. Um, not a bad decision though to just get that spawn up much quicker. And it looks like Spitter going for a spit onto Generator right there, but he does miss and he does get taken down. Um, but losing that Spitter right there should secure another 3-1 setup for Team Virtuo, so they will not have that jockey again though, I don't imagine. And now it's just Smoker and Charger looking for a pull right here. They might be able to get a quick one onto Lewis, but it gets cleared, but the charge does land! Wow! Beautiful. Very nice moves, even if with the pull getting self-cleared like that, they were able to get that death charge onto Denna. Very, very solid infected play. Yeah, absolutely beautiful there. Definitely, they know their timing. They knew where that survivor was going to land. They predicted it. And now a jockey going down for this low ground cap onto Cell. Kind of missing him a few times in a row. A survivor should be there to support pretty quickly. And actually going to get the self defense onto that jockey right there. Cell taking it down. Actually, Blaubar coming in for the final kill. Now there is a charger and spitter up. 
it's always really nice when you can get those death charges early into the round too for that maximum efficiency. Yeah, it certainly is. And it looks like Smoker actually going to get juked out right there. Honestly, not very good positioning. That survivor wasn't even going to go low ground. There are no more cans in that direction. So now we just have this Smoker sort of pre-spawned right here. It looks like survivors are going to be approaching uh, the far two and then possibly hard three afterwards. But no, it looks like they're just going to take a more safe hand. There are safe path. We did see a double boom right there, so we could see a no. That we don't have a tri cap right now, but we do have a spit. I would love to see a good uh, can burn attempt right here, but they're not interested. They're just going to hold their spawns, wait for survivors to move onto the uh, low single or the hard three. And Francis is taking hard three right now. Smoker out of position. Charger as well. I have to say. And those spawns are getting blocked incredibly well, so there's not even going to be an SI hit on this area. Smoker coming in to look for something, but Charger doesn't really have a spawn either. There's a pull onto Francis, but there's no angle for that whatsoever. Charger just needs to help get this can burn, but no, Francis does get the save right there. Hunter actually getting shut down at Generator as well, so Bot's doing a great job keeping themselves alive, playing really safely with only three survivors up and it looks like this is going to be the end of the round. Bill's going to go for that last low ground can and unless we see some sort of a burn here very quickly it's pretty much going to be over. We do see a pull on low ground but the last can is at generator right now delayed by the spitter a little bit. And a nice can toss across the spit to give it to Bill who can get in a position much quicker. Nice last second delay right there. Maybe another one if the Charger can make it, but no. The poor does finish with a 513 time. I think on that last Charger, it would have just been worth it to go for the stumble. Yeah, it really seemed that way. He'd, I don't know exactly how close he would have to be for that, but yeah, he probably could have just charged the side of the generator and stumbled him off. So yeah, it will be Virtuous on Survivor right here. They need to beat 513, which uh, actually, I believe on their on their faster round, they only got 426 or something like that. So this could be difficult for them. They are going to have to play very well and avoid those death charges. Uh, nice delay spit putting be putting out right here. And looked like they were going for a ledge death charge attempt, but uh, it was just too many survivors right there. The tongue got taken down way too quickly. And now there's a jockey alone right now, going for some sort of a ledge cap. Probably going to be taken down though. Actually juking those shotgun blasts pretty well. And finally does get taken down. Survivors meanwhile have taken the alley. Uh, all three of those low ground cans from over there are coming, down, coming back up. And a boomer going for a quick bomb onto Bill right here. Oh, actually he's not doing a very good job of getting these cans out of the way, but it looks like Francis is going to come in and help him. And they should be able to get those pops nice and safely. Spitter was looking for something right here and actually throws his spit at the generator, but it gets body blocked by Lewis. Uh, otherwise, that could have possibly been a burn. That smoker having no respect for no smoking signs. Indeed. So yeah, um, pretty good time from uh, Team Virtuoso. I feel like they've been minorly delayed. Uh, by some SI here and there, but for the most part they've gotten a lot of cans off and a free death charge Landing onto dildo as he goes for the long two helipad can Meanwhile Lou is getting intercepted by that jockey So that's gonna be a nice separation cap. He needs to get him down onto the low ground He might be able to get a ledge cap here and he does indeed hunter setting up as well for an intercept just going to delay that pickup and Boomer is sitting next to that can over by uh, the helipad long two, but honestly I don't see why the survivors would touch that whatsoever is indeed so boomer just going to get a boom right there and that is about it you know survivors actually locked in by a lot of common right here as well as that boomer <laughs> they're stumbling him around so much poor boomer it probably brings him back to his uh, high school moments where he would get just shoved around into lockers all the time but he does finally get taken down and it looks like pretty much just a delay attack at the generator looking for that spit play but uh, honestly, Spitter not getting his spawn quick enough to do anything. But you know, at this point, all they really need is delays, and uh, Virtuoso still has to go get low ground uh, hard three. That death charge and that ledge jockey put in some huge amounts of delays for them. 
and it's going to be very difficult for uh, Virtuoso to make it. 513 time at this point, I think. We do see a smoker up. He's not going to get a ledge smoke, and Zoe's actually stuck on the ladder right there, but the death charge does go in. So two survivors are going to have to go get these cans. Hunter is going in to try to help out that smoker, but the smoker is taken down at this point. Um, but the amount of delays that can be done right here are just absolutely huge. And I think in just like four more seconds, I think the round has actually been decided. I think bots off the system has pulled it off. They are going to stop Virtuoso from winning this round. And we were, wow, can revenge there uh, blocking the ladder. Indeed, and he actually did pop a can up on top of the satellite area, which is just that is just uh, uh, adding insult to injury, really. Just saying, no, you can't even get those canes in quickly. You're gonna have to go all the way up top there. And uh, nice getting that jockey stun locked right there, getting those pores in. But yeah, it is all gone at this point. Bots off the system has taken the round. <laughs> taking a swan dive off of the satellite tower right there but oh France is almost getting that can for what the tongue breaking I guess Lewis must have saved him but uh, I don't know how well Francis can do against so many commons and so many SI he does avoid that boom but um Hunter does get that final cap and can that the is the round. Clear it? Can the pistol clear it? I don't think he can. So yeah, very nice job by bots off the system. They really had some solid delays all throughout that round. And uh, it finally ended up in just a wipe. So yeah, I guess it's still anybody's game at this point. The scores are currently 2-1 in favor of Virtuoso. So if Virtuoso can take out just one more round, they will take the map. But they are on Survivor first right here. And oh, nice jockey to the low ground going in right there. But Charger not really set up for it. He's pretty much just going to have to sack right here. I don't see how he can get a charge against that AK-47. And Spit being employed right there onto low ground cans. But Dildo should be doing okay. Oh, Dildo misses wow, it. he actually misses a save right there onto one of the cans. That is not something you want to see, especially when you're probably going to have to be forced to win on time against a team like bots off the system. And he is splitting to go for these low alley cans right here. Survivors actually split up to take hard three at this point, but uh, they don't have a charger set up for that, so that smoker is doing almost nothing right there. And it looks like Lewis is going to stun lock that jockey and Dildo take him down. could have gotten that other can while he was down there, but he did not notice it respawn. Oh, indeed. Well, the survivors have a lot of canes up top right now, and honestly, they really need to focus on getting these generator pours. This boomer is actually going to slow things down once again. They really need to switch their can pour. But wow, Virtuoso is just all over the map right now. There's a charger going in for Dildo right here, and he does get charged. It's not a death charge, but it's not really well covered either. Lewis, oh, having to burn the can to save Dildo right there, so that... That entire run down there is all for naught. He does manage to avoid getting in cap, but the jockey is going to come in right here, and he does finish the in cap. So yeah, honestly, a little bit sloppy from Virtuoso right there. Um, trying to go for way too many cans and dildo. Wow, <laughs> actually getting the pickup right there and an instant melee on the jockey at the same time. Uh, nice, uh, nice work by Moonshine right there. So, honestly, Survivor's still looking like a pretty good time, but they need to get these alley cans and the long helipad one. Charger is looking for some sort of a setup right here, but he's probably going to have to wait for alley. Okay. Dildo is going alone for it, and Charger is setting up. Oh, getting charged right there, but it shouldn't matter too much. Jockey gets a nice intercept, uh, but there's only two cans left to get in right here. Spitter is the only SI up for bots off the system. They need to get these can tosses up there really quick and get these pours in before any cappers can set up. They do get one pour right there, and a can has been launched into spit. Zoe not anywhere to help. That's going to be a burn. Wow. Once again, Virtuoso being a little sloppy right there. Box really managing to make every attack count. And uh, survivors are going to have to go back to that alley to pick up another can.
You know, and Smoker going in there for a little bit of a delay, but it's not really going to do much. They might be able to get this pour in before anything else spawns. There is a Boomer looking for some delay right there. And he does get it pretty well. Both survivors up top boomed right there, but Zoe should be able to pour. And indeed, only a 5.07 time then. I have to say, I remember from the game uh, between IA and Virtuoso, it really seemed like Team Virtuoso gets... They have a tendency to get really worried about uh, making a good time, and they start doing all these crazy splits and whatnot, and it, uh, a lot of the time it just ends up hurting them. Like we saw that round, that in-cap onto Dildo on the low ground, and the death charges as well. Yeah, it was played, just all a result of splitting up way too much. It played more or less like the world's clumsiest milkman, constantly having to go back to the station to get more milk because he keeps dropping the glass jars. <laughs> world's clumsiest, clumsiest milkman? Is that is that actually like a, a common phrase? No, I just made it up. <laughs> Indeed, but yeah, that's a pretty good analogy for it. We do see... Uh, Survivor's just getting the upper ground cans this time. Bots off the system knows that they can just play a solid standard round and beat a five minute time. And, uh, yeah. Bots off the system still holding, or Virtuoso still holding that charger and that jockey. They could go for a burn play or something right here. Jockey is looking for that low ground cap, but Lewis's auto shotgun just taking him out so fast. You know, I feel like Denna. Ooh! <laughs> Almost a free death charge right there, but no, there's a uh, giant block of stone right there. You absolutely can't go through that, you silly charger. I don't remember that being there in standard. That, uh, I believe that is there, actually, all the time. But, yeah, the lots of cans coming in. We did see bots off the system take alley entirely. And, uh, I was going to mention that Denna, for, uh, team bots off the system, seems to play a similar role to, uh, dildo on uh, team virtuoso it seems like they are always the one on low ground with the auto shotgun uh trying to get all these self clears and go for as many cans as possible but uh of course uh dennis seemed to be taking far less risky plays when he does it and it looks like just going for close two right here that jockey going to have absolutely nothing at all i don't know why they would send that in they don't have they didn't even have the charge at that point to set up on it now a 2-1 for the infected with this boomer. I guess you would call that a 1 2. Nice boom does land on the generator, but uh, survivors basically, they have a great time right now. 5 14 on the clock, and the survivors just have to get hard 3 at this point. So it's going to be up to Virtuoso to probably go for some sort of a can burn here. The spitter has pre spawned, but uh, honestly, no SI, no cappers are set up to get any sort of a can drop for him at this point. Last cans are moving into generate. A lot of commons actually delaying right here, and there goes the spit. There goes Lewis actually pulling every can out of the spit so quickly. And this is going to be the round for bots off the system. They only need to get in this one last can, and they do with a 540 time, beating Team Virtuoso by over 30 seconds. And the HUD probably completely bugged right there, but it was saying they beat him by like 4 minutes, but of course that is not true, they only beat him by about 30 seconds. But yeah, Virtuoso really gonna have to be a lot safer this round, I have to say. And looks like a really early death charge attempt right here! Dildo does get that self-clear onto the smoker, um, it looks like bots off the system really getting baited out right there. I mean, I'm not sure if it was intentional, but Dildo was completely alone going into that area. They went for the death charge, and they missed it, and now, um... You know, Virtuoso could take this opportunity to split up a lot. They do have a good amount of split onto Lewis right here, um, but only a spitter up for bots off the system. One can does get tossed in the spit. They need to notice it, and they do notice it this time. Wow, they've actually grabbed hard three as well right here, or Francis is in the process of grabbing it, and I don't think a capper is going to be able to get to him very soon. They do have a jockey going in onto him. He needs to be very careful right here. Jockey does miss. He does land. But the charger goes right over his head. That is not the kind of move you want to see. He could have just taken his time right there. So uh, Virtuoso splitting up for so many cans and getting away with it thus far. Some Look at how many cans, cans are up on high in. ground. Wow, some of those cans are really close to that Molotov. I hope it does not spread any more than it already has. 
Survivors really need to get shots in and start doing these pours very quickly. Dildo does take a shot and he's going to start chugging these cans into the generator. Charger going for delay right there, but actually screwing up, but a lot of cans in spit right now. They actually missed the save right there, but I oh, think the boomer. damage has been uh, avoided. Wow, that can getting knocked down to low ground by hard three, but um, only one can burn right there thus far. Spitter looking around to maybe die on an extra can, but I don't think he's going to have anything at all. Actually gets an extra spit onto three cans right there. They do get the saves, but uh, a huge amount of damage onto Zoe. Meanwhile, Lewis splitting up like crazy to go for hard three once again. No Virtuoso, no. You need to stop doing these crazy, crazy plays and just play a solid game, please. But uh, it looks like they will get that pickup. And honestly, I can't say for sure uh, how the time is looking at this point. They've got over four minutes on the clock. Smoker pull getting taken down right there, but that Hunter has gotten that interception cap, and it's going to be up to Francis to save that, I have to say. Just barely getting it before Jane is in cap. And meanwhile, a Charger Boomer going in on Lewis near the long two cans, and the Death Charge does go in. Gosh, Moonshine not learning from his mistake right there, trying to rush more and more cans. And, uh, you know, they just can't handle it. I mean, this isn't a, this isn't a pub, and these guys know how to use their SI. Moonshine showing uh, Dildo, who's the bungee jumping king around here. Indeed. We do see the last cans are coming in right now, and survivors will have over a five minute time if they can get these in. Um, but there's a lot of SI up right now. It is a 2 2 setup, and the spit goes in on generator, but only one can actually getting in that spit. Nice clears by Francis, nice saves, and not actually quite getting that jockey kill. But if the survivors can just deal with this boomer, it's not going to matter. All they need to do is pour. One can actually getting tossed up to the upper level right there. And if you're only going to be going for two survivor uh, finish right here, you don't really want something like that to happen. This is actually putting Team Virtuoso under a five minute time right now. Uh, once they get this can in, I imagine they'll probably be at about 4.45 or so. And indeed, 4.45.17. So yeah, once again, Team Virtuoso it looked like they were getting these huge separation uh, can grabs, but they did not protect them against Spit, had way too many stack, weren't getting those pours quick enough, and of course, huge amount of separation plays onto, I believe, Moonshine. So yeah, bot all bots off the system has to do is take this round with just even a five minute time, and uh, they will win. So Virtuoso really needs to get some solid delays or more likely kills because even with the delays you can still get a 5 minute time. Bots off the system, very safe pathing thus far. And we do see a ledge pull attempt, Charger going for it but he does not get the setup and gets torn down by those auto shotguns close range right there. So this is actually going to give uh, bots off the system the freedom to go for quite a few can grabs. They only have two non-cappers up right now. I'm not really sure that um, Bots off the <coughs> system knows that for sure. But it certainly is the case and the survivors certainly are splitting up. They've gotten all of long helipad cans and a boomer is going in right there for a single onto generator. No cans going to be knocked off and a pipe bomb, actually double pipe bombs getting avoided right there which isn't really helping whatsoever. That could have been bad. That pipe bomb was right next to a can, and it was pointing towards the side. Indeed it was, and a spit actually getting a great amount of damage onto Lewis and uh, some of the other survivors. No can burns. Good footwork by the survivors, but um, they need to deal with these commons a little bit better, I think. Wow, but uh, no, they're just going to use shots and be able to get so many pours through, through so many commons' hands, punching them in the back. Making pretty good time right now. Yeah, they've got over five minutes with 16 cans in. Um, they just need to get hard three for the most part. They should be in the clear to make this five minute time that they need. And here comes death charge attempt for free though. And that is certainly not going to work, especially with all those auto shotguns pointed at his face. Or not auto shotguns, I believe they used AK-47s for a nice focused range clear. And that boomer getting stumbled as well. Bill taking these canes the long way over here. 
through some spit. Um, all these cans, as soon as he gets that last can thrown up there, that should be all of the upper ground He's cans. Kind He's kind of forgetting it. Yeah, there's, there's another can down there, Bill. But it looks like they're just going to leave it, go for the pours first, and then go back for it. With a little bit more cover. They actually do get that jockey at the generator right there, but Francis is going to corner up. He does get uh, capped right there. But that should be a pretty quick clear. Zoe finally getting that clear, grabbing the can, and getting out of there. And yeah, if they can just uh, deal with these common affected on generator, they should have no problem making the time they need. Oh wow, actually a pull there for a nice little bit of delay and an in cap on Dena. But that is the can and it is a 5.30 time. Wow, Virtuoso had 2 and 0 oh going into this. Um, but you know, bots off the system just kept it together and really capitalized on every little mistake that Virtuoso made. Giving them the win for the map. And so we will go on to Atrium next as we get kicked out of the server. Fix it, probably you sim. Fix it. I wish we could. Well, it would be nice if they would just switch maps while we were still in the server, but uh, that did not happen. And yeah, I imagine they will be in lobby right now. Very good. Is there anything that King Fogel can do about the uh, player block list thing, or is that just totally blocked out by Valve? Uh, well, the thing is, if you remove the lobby reservation on the game, the block list has no effect whatsoever. So, actually, Confogel games, when you're actually running Confogel, uh, the block list does nothing. But if when you're in lobby, yeah, the, the block list stays in effect. So I don't understand why the teams had issues after connecting to the server. Because uh, I'm pretty sure it was lobby and reserved by the time we got in there. And it looks like they managed to get in anyway. The more you know. Indeed. And so, yeah, we will be seeing Atrium played next. Atrium, definitely a uh, very interesting scavenge map. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. I'm not sure who's going to play Survivor first. I believe that the team who loses the map will pick whether they play Survivor or Infected first. And I imagine Virtuoso is going to want to play Infected first. I remember a really interesting play on a scavenge map uh, on Atrium where one of the SI actually sat there and clawed at the glass. It took about like 10 or so swings. And it was a glass <laughs> at a common area where attacks happen, so a charger is able to charge someone right off and just kill them. Oh, indeed. Yeah, it does take a... You can actually take those glass panels down if you scratch them for a huge amount of time um but you know if you get noticed right there you're just gonna get popped by a sniper and taken down so yeah we do see things like that happening every once in a while but we'll have to see what sort of strategies these teams have up their sleeves humdy dumdy dum just sort of keeping an eye on uh, the stream chat right here. Do you have any shoutouts to read? I do not. I had like three people add me all at once at the beginning of the game, but um... Oh, I actually am getting a shoutout shout out in progress from uh, Dildo. He actually sent me a uh, shoutout in the middle of the game, but uh, I chose not to read it because it became very... Uh, it became very moot. He was actually giving a shout out to Denner for getting death charged, but I bet he feels pretty silly about that now <laughs> after losing the map. I think um, he uh, visited that black void a couple times there. Indeed, he certainly did. Uh, Dildo does give a shout out to Bibarib though uh, from Dildo for having that luscious. Okay, nope, I am not going to read that one anymore. <laughs> Too racy, is it? <laughs> it's uh, going a little bit far for me, but I'm sure you guys got the uh, got the gist of it. And apparently they're having more block issues, but uh, hopefully they figured it out from last time. I have a shout out from Cuban Nipple Crisis to uh, me and Dildo. Except, okay, if you're gonna say 
dildo, you need to spell it like the player name, otherwise you're just giving a shout out to like the phallic object. I think people are just trying to get us to say dildo as many times as possible. I think they might be. I've, I'm already saying it plenty though for this game, I promise you. Like, if I have neighbors listening into this cast, you know, through the walls, they're probably going to think I'm a sex-crazed maniac. Absolutely. Like, I can't cast Scavenge, especially not with Team Virtuoso, uh, when my roommates are around. Otherwise, that would be very awkward. Yeah, you know, you know, just saying the, the names of the SI along with the word dildo, you know, Charger, Spinner, Dildo, Dildo! <laughs> dildo getting absolutely demolished by the Charger. I don't know about that, that's a little out there. I'm getting added by random people who want my hats, Prodigy Sim. This cannot be. Why don't you give him? Just give him the hats, son. It's not worth it. The hats are mine. Dildo just spraying all into that charger's face right there. <laughs> no. <laughs> getting a little dirty there. Well. Why don't you take a moment to uh, promote your channel on uh, Twitch TV so you can get them viewers? Because I don't actually stream that much anymore. Uh, I do actually, as you saw me attempting to stream this game at the beginning, I do actually stream every once in a while uh, to my own Twitch TV account. It's just twitch.tv slash prodigy sim. And I do actually have like a Steam group where I'll announce if I'm playing a scrim on it or something. But uh, yeah, I just don't have a lot of bandwidth, so quite often I'm having to shut off my stream in the middle of a game or something, but I do stream fairly regularly uh, every day or so for at least a couple of hours, so. You see, what you have to do here is you need to go out into Podunk, wherever the hell you live, and get go to the nearest mall, and then just look for all the hipsters, you know, they got who got iPhones and shit. So, you know, you just go and you lift a whole shit ton of these iPhones and you duct tape them for, together, right? And then you tether them to your to your PC. And you've got like an array of 3G phones with uh, internet connections that will probably do better than what you have. That's actually I that would actually make some sense. Cause you know it's not like I need the low latency if I'm just uh, uploading video through it. So yeah, all I have to do is steal a bunch of phones, and then I can stream properly. It'll look like a giant solar panel. It'll be awesome. Indeed, and then every once in a while I'll get calls on them, and uh, then I, I don't know, I'd probably have to shut them off or something so they can't find me. I'm going to post my my stream Steam group in the chat right there. It's just a little bit of extra um, self shameless self-promotion. And we are getting into the server right now, actually. So indeed, folks, join that group. You probably, you probably announce when you're actually going to be shoutcasting a game, too, I would think. I actually don't do that, and I probably should. Well, knowing the that amount of uh, notice that we get before we are about to actually cast a game, I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, for sure. H2 Olinon saying that I am a bad kid. Wow, I don't know why there's a uh, trash start going out for me in this game. And it looks like I'm playing on Survivor right here, so I'm going to take this opportunity to jump off of a ledge and then spectate up. And get blocked Hope by everyone they're not mad. And it looks like we have random players joining this game at this point. Everybody's hyped for scavenge. And it looks like we did lose the extra spectator and Sada is finally in so we should be ready to do this map restart. The vote has already gone in and will be ending very soon. And we are going to go live. I did not notice, I believe... Did you catch which team is on Survivor? I did not. I actually went in to saw a whole bunch of in-cap people and they restarted the map. I believe it was Virtuoso, but I could be completely wrong about that. 
Yeah, it does like Virtuoso taking Survivor first again. Kind of wondering about that choice, uh, because, you know, honestly, we saw them go Survivor first for a few of those rounds, and that always seems to be the, uh, the point at which they start splitting up like crazy, trying to get these great times when they don't necessarily need them. And it looks like Rochelle... I'm outside of the map. Alright. Looks like they're missing one of their players at this point. And there's an extra spectator who needs to go. Jane finally does get in. But uh, she hasn't even grabbed a gun or anything. But the survivors are starting this. I don't know about this right now. Gotta get that best time possible. Even if the clock isn't running. Yeah, apparently. But yeah, the game has gone live, and we should be seeing pretty standard paths from the survivors here, getting those low two cans first. Meanwhile, up top it looks like Dildo and, um, who is that? That is Moonshine as coach. And uh, yeah, we're going to see right here the hit coming in on these close cans right there. Charge and pull both landing onto the same survivor right there. And that should be cleared pretty quickly. So survivor is going to be getting through what you might consider the most deadly choke point on the map fairly quickly. Um, usually SI should wait until after cans are picked up in that area to go for a burn or something. But yeah, and now we have seen a full-on split from Virtuoso. Very nice timing on this thus far. We did see Jane go up and get two cans from third floor. Um, so now if the infected are going to hit, it's going to have to be on Dildo, who is maybe going to go for those two cans over in that area. But there is a two uh, non-capper sack onto the car. Here comes the pull attempt onto Dildo, and he's going to get capped so hard. Moonshine is sitting there for the cover. Nice, actually, getting that tongue kill. And uh, now Dildo just has to take out this hunter. But, you know, Moonshine in a great position there across the map to get that cover. Dildo does get the self-clear right there, and, you know, honestly, I'm not completely sure what just happened there. It looks like Jane dropped down to second floor again, so Moonshine's actually alone going for cans on third floor. There is a charger up and a spitter as well. If this charger lands, yes, it does land. That's going to be a burn and probably an end cap. That is uh, not the kind of thing you want to see happening to Virtuoso right there if they want to get a good time. And here comes... Here comes... Wow. He's going to get mostly shut down, getting dead stopped repeatedly. But no, finally the cap does go in. Um, that fire just kills him way too quickly, along with Dildo there for the cover. But uh, kind of sloppy going for that corner alone by Moonshine. Uh, and really, I think what we have to attribute that to is Jane dropping to second floor. I'm pretty sure she was on... I'm not sure if it's a he or she, but um, Rochelle, anyway, was on third floor with Moonshine. And there goes a charge for delay down there. Uh, but Moonshine's in there very quickly to pick up and get those can pours. And Spit being employed, but... Uh, Nice saves very quickly. They just have to get these last few pours in. That actually is a nice spit placement, but Dildo is on a shot, and he can pour through it. Maybe it's a little bit luck-based, it seems, when that happens. So a 3.58 time. Not actually all that high, I'd have to say. And definitely with the amount of pipe bombs and things that you got, more or less that, that charge spit was huge. Yeah, it certainly was, and that was just way too much separation right there. Um, I think normally a what you consider a good time on this map, like we consider five minutes and something a good time on rooftop, we would consider four minutes and something a good time on this map. So um, yeah, if they didn't have that delay there with that charge and spit, obviously they would have had something in the four minute range, if not a five minute time. So yeah, very same path going in again. Um, Survivor's actually switching it up, and they're going to go for these long two cans first right here. Uh, while well, they've got a bit more cover, it looks like. Rochelle going for cans at Generator for free, and that Charger taken down. Smoker self-cleared as well. Um, and it looks like cans are going to be coming in pretty quickly. You know, I have to say, this is the the last time we saw Atrium. I am remembering now we did see Atrium. And the last time we saw it, this was the path that people used. Um, or at least the European teams seem to use that path where they go for those uh, long two cans first. And now they have grabbed that hard corner, uh, death corner I believe, uh, the American players like to call it. 
And here comes a nice rocket boom. Actually going to get two survivors right there for a little bit of delay. And there is a can. Wow, just barely out of spit. The spitter has to be shaking his head. But a can does get knocked into it. But the spit is done at that point. And now um, the survivors on third floor. They actually have nothing to go on to them. That charger is trying to escape right now. And he does go down. So survivors on third floor can actually split up like crazy at this point And just get all of the cans thrown down to first. And as long as there's no delays on these fours, uh, we could actually see the end of the round before Virtuoso gets another set of spawns. There is a hunter in spawn looking for something on to sell, but the cans have been dropped down. He, they just need to go for a burn on generator. Hunter slowly moving in. Here comes the, the spit, but the cans tossed out of the way before it even lands on the ground. And now with that boom going in, it looks like the rest of the cans are going to be poured super quickly. Spit for a final delay, and wow, actually they are stopping that can from going in very quickly. But that's going to be it, a 4.42 time from Team Bots, very nice play. Very interesting situation happened there, there was actually a spit sandwich, the kiosk, uh, a can got thrown into the one of the kiosks, the spinner died on top of it, and there was spit on top, and spit on the bottom, but nothing in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Definitely uh, unfortunate for that spitter, who it looked like he was going to have a full burn right there. But yeah, it looks like Virtuoso going to be using the same path. They aren't going to switch to that Euro path, which I believe is a bit safer path. Um, but I think if this path is completed properly, it is a little bit faster. I guess it sort of depends on how quickly the SI go in on this corner. And they are waiting for those canes to be picked up. There goes the pull right there. And not getting the clear on it very quickly at all. Rochelle not in the saving position. So that is a nice two cap up there. Rochelle really needs to get the clear on that charger quickly. They do get the clear. And Hunter not... Oh, actually does get the pounce right there. But the Hunter gets cleared once again. Um, but, you know, both of those survivors up there very slow. And Spit trying to get that Spit play. But he does get taken down. Um, but honestly, that's a great amount of delay. Those survivors are going to have to choose when to use their medkits, when to use those shots. And actually, Smoker going for that cap attempt on the dildo, but he does get the M2 and axe kill. Looks like just uh, actually going for that spit on the low ground, low, low ground, can, low ground can that dildo dropped down there. So um, that's going to be a great delay as well. In the meantime, Moonshine has gotten the long hand in that other direction. He does drop, so Dildo has absolutely no cover right now as he gets charged into that corner. Boy, honestly, these cappers just keep landing, and Team Virtuoso is once again going for these crazy split. Meanwhile, Hunter is intercepting on this really well. It's really going to delay the survivor team a lot. One of the things I really like about Atrium is the uh, freedom that the spinner gets to move around and just be in those places it needs to be at right at the right time. Indeed. Uh, the only... Yeah, the spitters for the most part can get a lot of separation. We do see a gas can burn right there. Um, as noting about that spitter mobility. But uh, if you're going to stay on fourth floor or even on third floor, the spit can just take a huge amount of time to travel to the gas cans. And uh, often that, that's all the time the survivors need to move the cans out of the way. So I'm not opting to go for that save onto Dildo right there. Meanwhile, Moonshine going up to three alone. He does get all the cans tossed down. But there are two or three cappers with spawns up to go after him. He is getting out of that area pretty quickly. Smoker looking for the quick pull onto it. But he does miss it. Now a charger is alone going after Moonshine. Comes the pounce attempt. He's not in a very good position to be cleared. Rochelle or no nobody has that clear he does get in capped right there but the only cans left are on second floor and the charger's in a dangerous spot indeed and he goes for the uh off the top of the wow just huge amounts of delay coming out once survivors get these cans in they'll be it will still be under four minutes, I believe. And they still have to push on that very last can out there. Dildo has no health items. And he's having to push on that alone. You know, Jockey could go for this cap at any time. He's going to be covered very soon, right? Jockey trying to keep him behind that pillar, but the in-cap goes in. And uh, that's going to give that Jockey a 30-second recharge timer, which is absolutely terrible. 
I did not see where the gas can went. Looks like Rochelle is holding it. And all they need to do is move in with that. There is a spitter up right now, and oh, if he had a spawn, they could have gone for that burn play, but they're gonna, just going to have to go for the burn on the car. There goes the pull right there, and Spitter actually just going for a scratch and spit delay. Very nice move, and that charge actually not quite going to pull her into spit, I don't think, but a good amount of damage anyway. Ellis is going to be in-capped. Meanwhile, Nick just barely moving forward, and the port does finally go in. Giving Virtuoso <coughs> only a 243 time. So, yeah, unless bots off the system goes absolutely crazy right here, or uh, we see some really nice hit on the death corner, uh, this is going to be bots off the system's round. I don't see how they can mess this up, uh, especially if they go for that safer path that they like to go for. It looks like sending actually all the survivors to go grab those uh, low two cans and Nick and Coach are going to be going solo. They are going to go for the long two and SI are setting up on this area. Uh, honestly, this area is just so easy to clear though that I would prefer to see the SI wait and hit on the opposite corner. Hunter is going for that cap onto Ellis. Wow, Ellis barely missing the melee weapon kill. But um, the rest of the capper is basically getting shut down. And now there's only a spitter left for Team Virtuoso. So yeah, it looks like bots off the system is going to take Death Corner no problem whatsoever. Ooh, uh, they have a here. Oh, close. Wow, nice save by Denna right there. So there are a lot of low ground cannons, and actually some coming coming in. Oh, double pipe bomb being employed, but uh. There should still be plenty of pipe bombs on the map. There's at least two of them low ground there. And as you said, that fourth floor spit, if he would have probably been a little bit closer, that would have been a burn. Yes, indeed. Have to be careful about that. And we did just see that boomer sack. So SI are probably going to wait to get their third capper. They want to hit on this other corner, this other covered corner up top. Which is not quite as well covered, I'd have to say, but... It is still doable. They have a nice setup for getting a can burn there. They want to trigger their attack after these cans get picked up. But uh, Nick and Coach both going in there. No cans have been grabbed yet. But they are going for the hit anyway. But Charger and Hunter both going for that same target right there. Absolutely nothing coming out of this attack. No burn. No end caps. Just some minor, minor delay. However, that smoker going solo onto Dendo right there. And there might be a burn right here. Spitter going for that intercept, no burn, but a great amount of damage, and a little bit of delay. But you know, survivors are just going to move for these last four cans, um, unless there's a burn going in. We're going to see bots off the system take this round with no problem. Yeah, they just lost their spitter, so it's going to be up in the air. Yeah, I don't think they are going to leave this spitter that died after everything else as far as I could tell. Maybe a boomer sending a can outside of the map. But no, Rochelle gonna put in the last two pours. Hunter missing his pounce right there. I think he slid off the car. So once again, scores are now 2-1 in favor of bots off the system. And Virtuoso going to have to play Survivor first again. And honestly... Bots off the system hasn't been getting any super incredible times, just getting just over four minutes right there as we saw. And uh, so, honestly, Virtuoso can do this, but they just need to play it safe. And they do need to do a little better on their infected side as well. That boom down there actually is going to delay um, those can grabs pretty well. Pipe Bomb being employed, so hopefully he can find his cans and move in pretty quickly. Meanwhile, uh, the survivor is going for the death corner right there. Looks like an intercept cap may not be happening. It does actually finally land, but nice quick clears by a moonshine on the cover, actually. So uh, that corner is going to be taken out pretty well. So not very speedy moving through that corner, but with all of the spawns taken out right now, the survivors should have no problem uh, taking all of those cans and going for the long corner as well. Spit being employed onto Ellis. But it looks like he gets the saves with no problem. 
and that spit is going to have to wait to recharge for another 20, or I don't know exactly how long it is, probably about 10 seconds. And here comes a hit attempt on the corner right there, but you know, that charger going in solo just gonna get juked. And with the amount of pipe bombs on this map, you think they want to replace every single zombie with the Jimmy Gibbs Jr. zombie. There is actually a spit going in on a can right there, nice. and it's gonna get cleared. I mean, not get cleared, it's going to get burned. So, uh, nice job by Team Bots off the system, and I did not actually see where that cane came from. Wow, actually a nice, uh, skeet with that military sniper by Moonshine, but... Oh, barely juking that tongue. Getting the smoker taken down, though, and now the survivors are gonna be able to split up quite a bit. There's only a spitter up at this point. Yeah, basically um, that but... can was thrown in, the, uh, spitter spat on it, and the charger secured it. Very good play. Indeed. Yeah, getting those charger covers, just putting the spit in first and covering with the capper is incredibly useful. And there will be a top level boom up here. Dildo really needs to get these last four cans in. There was a charge spit attempt on generator, but uh, once again that spit just none does not get in very quickly. The charger was well out of there. And yeah, look at last that Molotov can. toss. That was pretty slick. <laughs> Landing right up there to cover common on top of dildo, but we do see a charge on low ground, and this pounce not getting cleared very quickly. But uh, all they have to do is throw these two cans down and go for the last one on second floor. Wow, actually getting that pull to delay even more. Dildo honestly probably should have just taken his shot to get out of there quicker. And there goes the jockey trying to get some sort of a hit onto Dildo. He does land the cap, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Last two fours going in, but still only a 353 time for Team Virtuoso. This is the best scoreboard ever. <laughs> 16, 16, 16, 16. That's uh, that's just about that just about sums up Atrium, honestly. So once again, we will be seeing bots off the system move out on Survivor. Nice early two boom right there, uh, which should help out a little bit. Of course, with the survivors going for this uh, safer path, might not do too much. And I believe there is once again a three three capper setup right here. I really don't want to see Virtuoso play on them on this corner. I feel like it's just too well covered for them to do anything. And of course they don't have a spit to play on the two low ground cans that came in. Looking like they maybe want to go for a hit around Elevator right here, but once again that's pretty well covered. They should really just hold off and go for a hit on the death corner as the survivors finally get to that position. It looks like Charger rushing in there, Smoker trying to get a spawn. They could go for this hit at any time, but they probably want to wait for those cans to get grabbed. Of course, Coach is just going to grab him and drop off the ledge right there. Charger, oh, barely missing that, and the spit does get deployed on the low ground. Smoker getting the nice intercept. Smooth moves by Denna and that quick self M2 clear. Going to keep any cans from getting burned right there. You know, that is an interesting aspect of that path, is it, uh, it means you don't need to stay on the second floor for any reason, so you can always just go grab those cans and leave before any of the SI get a chance to play on it. In general, there's just a lot of shortcuts for the survivors on this map where they can just jump down and be safe. Indeed. Of course, if you jump down too early, that means you have to climb right back up. It's just like shoots and ladders. Oh, I guess that isn't a very good, uh, this isn't a very similar game, actually. Boomer going for an attempt on uh, the top two survivors right there, but getting popped, and honestly, as I don't really have anything at this point, they've got, they just got a smoker spawn up, and this hunter is just walking around looking for something to do, but survivors only have four cans left to get, and honestly, it looks like they're going to be getting them pretty quickly. And, yeah, Pole going for a spit attempt on low ground, but there's absolutely nothing to do there. Last four cans going to be coming in pretty quick. Coach taking all the jumps down to the first floor. And uh, our tournament admin has left the game. Probably can't believe what he's seeing either. But yeah, no, Virtuoso losing the match right here. Bots off the system. Taking it out with just solid, solid play map after map. So yeah, that is the game. That is the match. A 3-0 on Atrium along with the 3-2 on 2. Uh, rooftop. So congratulations to bots off the system and Virtuoso is out of the tournament. 
You know, I just realized on that last round, I've been calling Virtuos an American team, but it looks like their their lineup was actually just Dildo was the only American there. <laughs> the rest of them appeared to be European based on their pings. American by association. Indeed. Well, it does say on the brackets that they're an American team, and I think they originally are. But, um, yeah, we still, of course, have invidious animosity in the tournament, and they have... They are a completely American team, so we can keep our eyes out for them. Bots off the system going to go to the lower bracket finals, I believe. They're going to play against the winner of Pimps versus We Make Your Rage. So yeah, that should be very interesting to see. Um, thanks to all you guys for tuning into this. And thanks for Sud for saving me at the last minute and doing this cast with me. I mean, aim to please. Indeed. So uh, thanks to all of you for tuning in, and we will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.